Hey, welcome back, sports fans. Glad you came back here. We got some exciting stuff for you, obviously. Some exciting news in the province. Craft Hockeyville recently announced big winner in Elsa Booktook. We want to take you to the video here from the winning bid, uh, which they submitted uh, in order to win the 250000 towards refurbishment of the uh, new arena here in Elsa Booktook. So have a look at this. We'll be right back with Jamie Carpenter after the vid. <laughs> Elsa Booktook First Nation is the largest Mi'kmaq community in New Brunswick. In Elsa Booktook, it's almost seen as a rite of passage to play hockey. Here in Elsa Booktook, hockey is a way of life. The kids use hockey and the arena as an escape from their troubles. The arena and hockey helped us break through racial barriers through one common entity, and that, that is the love of hockey. We spend almost like every day in the rink. It's a distraction to the negative things. Since the fire in September, we haven't been able to use the arena or play hockey. If Elsie Book took one craft hockeyville, the money would be used to repair the damages that were caused by the fire. I'm very proud of our First Nation hockey heritage. I would love to get back into our rink and play, have fun. And glad to be joined by Jamie Carpenter here from the Elsa Booktook, uh, I guess, uh, board here that put together that winning bid here for the Craft Hockey Bill. How are you doing, Jamie? I'm good. How are you? Doing pretty good. Obviously, you're smiling ear to ear. Uh, some <laughs> congratulations, I guess, and some condolences in order uh, for you. Certainly, our thoughts have been with you guys here the last couple of weeks. Uh, but I uh, wanted you to, I guess, uh, take me back here a little bit when you guys get that call or video conference from Sportsnet and the NHL announcing that you guys had won the uh, the Craft Hockey Bill. Yeah, so they told us like from when we made top four that we would have to have a spot in place like ready to make the top four and we're like, wow, where are we gonna go? And then they, <laughs> we're like, can we go here? They said no. Can we go here? They said no, like you need to be in a place because of COVID pro protocols. So I was yeah. like, okay. And then my aunt Ruth Levi, who's on council she was like well let's go to the band office they have a big conference room it'll be good yeah so we ended up going there and we are just um we we're on the call and they're like okay we're gonna mute you guys and then you'll be unmuted once the announcement's made and we are sitting there on zoom and it said unmute just for us and we we're like oh my god and my cousin turned and looked at me and she's like this means something and i was like <laughs> that means something and we're like, we have to be quiet mm -hmm. and then like made the announcement and the whole like it was crazy. We just erupted. Everyone started crying. We were all yelling. It was so happy. Yeah, and, and like you said, well deserved. You guys have sort of been without, uh, I guess, uh, ice facilities here for a little bit. Uh, but you know, not just a, a financial, you know, uh, input here to the, to the area, but uh, really, you know, something that could save some lives. Uh, you know, for some of the young children that uh, that could be affected here by that. So you know, so much positivity and excitement for you guys coming up here with this announcement. Yeah, for sure. When the arena was first built in 1979, it was so the youth of El Spoktuk would have somewhere to go and somewhere positive and somewhere to put all their energy in. Without that this year, we were able to see that like a lot of kids who weren't in minor hockey didn't have that outlet. And now with the money we have, hopefully we're able to get our rink up back and running by September and we'll have the kids ready to go. Wow. Well, that's, and I mean, that's, that's, you know, great news, obviously, for the kids to be able to be back on the ice uh, at that point. But I mean, I remember even growing up, obviously, you know, Everett Santa Pass, uh, you know, being drafted in the first round, playing for Chicago and Quebec. But, you know, Evan Levi and Corey Augustine, you know, uh, the Milliers, you know, tons of great hockey players have certainly come out of, of that area. And uh, now that you'll have a, a rink, uh, you know, back in place, uh, you'll be able to keep producing some, uh, some stud athletes. So, uh, a huge kudos to you for, and, and your, your group that put together that bid. And uh, like I said, if it's anything like the Renus one that was in Renus and Bathurst, you guys are in for a great, uh, great event because it's, uh, it's first class the whole way. So uh, a huge congratulations to you and uh, look forward to seeing you guys here in the upcoming year when you guys are back on the ice. Thank you so much. Awesome.